Have you ever wondered how ancient civilizations reacted to the sudden disappearance of the sun in the middle of the day? Enter the captivating world of solar eclipses, an astronomical event that has intrigued humanity since the dawn of time. Picture this, the day is bright, the sun is high and all of a sudden, the sky grows dim, the temperature drops and day becomes night. For our ancestors, this unexpected plunge into darkness was nothing less than a mystical phenomenon. Centuries ago, without the knowledge we possess today, people created myths and superstitions to explain these baffling occurrences. In China, for instance, they believed a celestial dragon was devouring the sun, causing the day to turn into night. To scare this dragon away, the people would bang drums and pots, creating a cacophony of noise. In the frosty realms of the Vikings, they envisioned sky wolves chasing the sun. When one of these wolves caught up, it would take a bite out of the sun, causing a solar eclipse. The Vikings would howl and shout, trying to scare the wolf away to bring back the sun. In ancient Greece, solar eclipses were thought to be omens of disaster, while in some Native American cultures, they were seen as a time of renewal and rebirth. The earliest recorded solar eclipse dates back to the 23rd century BCE in China, where it was meticulously documented on oracle bones. This event shows how solar eclipses have been a part of human history for over 4,000 years, sparking curiosity and wonder in each generation. From dragons to sky wolves, from omens of doom to symbols of rebirth, the interpretation of solar eclipses has been as varied as the cultures that experienced them. Each myth, each superstition, tells a story of our attempts to explain the unexplainable and control the uncontrollable. As we've seen, solar eclipses have been a source of fascination and fear throughout history, but what exactly causes them? Stay tuned as we take a journey from the realm of myths and legends into the world of science to unravel the mystery of solar eclipses. Solar eclipses aren't the work of dragons or wolves, but a celestial ballet of the sun, moon, and earth. Now, let's dive into the science behind this spectacle. Solar eclipses occur when the moon gets sandwiched between the sun and the earth, casting a shadow over a portion of our planet. It's like when you stand in front of a light and your shadow falls on the wall. The same principle works here, but on a cosmic scale. The Sun, the most brilliant and largest star in our solar system, is about 400 times larger than the Moon. Coincidentally, it's also roughly 400 times farther away from us than the Moon. This cosmic coincidence means the Sun and the Moon appear to be about the same size in our sky, making solar eclipses possible. There are three types of solar eclipses, total, partial, and annular. A total solar eclipse, the most dramatic of all, happens when the moon completely covers the sun. Day turns into night, and the sun's outer atmosphere, or corona, becomes visible. It's a sight that leaves many in awe. Then we have partial solar eclipses. These occur when the moon only partially covers the sun. It's like someone took a bite out of the sun, and the resulting spectacle can vary depending on how much of the sun is obscured. Lastly, we have annular eclipses. They happen when the moon is farther away from the Earth in its orbit, and so appears smaller in the sky. As a result, it doesn't completely cover the sun, leaving a bright, fiery ring or annulus around the moon. This is why annular eclipses are often referred to as ring of fire eclipses. Each of these eclipses, while different, share one thing in common. They remind us of the intricate dance of celestial bodies that's constantly happening overhead. It's a dance that's been happening for billions of years and will continue for billions more. With a better understanding of the science, humanity began to predict when these solar spectacles would occur. Imagine the power of being able to predict when the sun would disappear. This was a reality for ancient astronomers. With keen observations and meticulous record-keeping, they developed methods to anticipate this celestial spectacle. Methods that, while not perfect, were surprisingly accurate. Perhaps the most famous of these ancient techniques is the Saros cycle, a system used by the Babylonians over 2,000 years ago. The Saros cycle is a period of approximately 18 years, 11 days, and 8 hours after which eclipses of the sun and moon repeat. This cycle was an impressive tool in the Babylonian arsenal of astronomy, allowing them to predict when and where solar eclipses would occur. 
Yet for all its efficacy, the Saros cycle wasn't without its limitations. It could predict the recurrence of an eclipse, but it didn't account for the slight shift in Earth's rotation. This meant that while an eclipse would indeed happen, it might not be visible from the same location as the previous one. Ancient Chinese astronomers also had their own method of predicting solar eclipses. They believed in a celestial dragon that devoured the sun, causing an eclipse. To predict when this would happen, they meticulously observed and documented the movement of heavenly bodies. Their records of solar and lunar eclipses date back to as early as 4th century BC. In the world of ancient Greece, Thales of Miletus, a philosopher and mathematician, is said to have accurately predicted a solar eclipse that occurred in 585 BC. His methods remain somewhat of a mystery, but it's believed that he may have used Egyptian and Babylonian astronomical records to make his prediction. These ancient methods, albeit imperfect, were significant milestones in human understanding of the cosmos. They laid the groundwork for future advancements in astronomy, leading us to our current, precise methods of eclipse prediction. Predicting solar eclipses was a significant achievement, but our understanding and ability to observe them has only improved with time. As we continue to gaze upwards, who knows what further celestial secrets we may uncover. Fast forward to the modern era, where solar eclipses have become a valuable tool for scientific discovery. Our understanding of the universe has been significantly shaped by the study of solar eclipses. In the early 20th century, a young physicist named Albert Einstein proposed a radical new theory, general relativity. This theory suggested that massive objects, like the Sun, actually bend the fabric of space and time. But how could this be proven? Enter the solar eclipse. In 1919, during a total solar eclipse, British astronomer Arthur Eddington observed the positions of stars near the Sun. He discovered that their apparent position shifted during the eclipse, just as Einstein had predicted. This was a groundbreaking moment that confirmed Einstein's revolutionary theory, catapulting him to fame and forever changing our understanding of the universe. But the contributions of solar eclipses to scientific discovery don't stop there. They've also allowed us to study the solar corona, the sun's outer atmosphere. During a total solar eclipse, when the moon perfectly aligns with the sun, the brightness of the sun is blocked, revealing the faint ethereal glow of the corona. This has led to discoveries about solar wind, coronal mass ejections, and the incredibly high temperatures of the corona, which paradoxically is much hotter than the surface of the sun. Modern technology has further enhanced our ability to study solar eclipses. Telescopes allow us to view them in unprecedented detail, while spacecraft like NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory provide continuous observations of the Sun, even when an eclipse isn't happening on Earth. It's a testament to human ingenuity that an event once feared as an omen of doom has become a tool for discovery, helping us unlock the mysteries of the cosmos. Yet, Despite the wealth of knowledge gained, there is an inherent magic to a solar eclipse that transcends science. Solar eclipses continue to be a source of scientific discovery, but they also offer an awe-inspiring spectacle for those lucky enough to witness them. There's something truly magical about witnessing a solar eclipse. Picture this, the day is bright and clear. Suddenly, there's a noticeable change in the atmosphere. The light dims, as though someone is slowly turning down a celestial dimmer switch. The temperature drops, and a peculiar quietness descends, as if the world is holding its breath. Then, the Sun, our mighty star, is gradually obscured, leaving only a halo of shimmering light. This is the solar corona, a crown of plasma that is usually hidden by the Sun's bright light. Experiencing a solar eclipse is an event like no other. It's both awe-inspiring and humbling, reminding us of our place in the vast cosmos. As the moon passes between the sun and the earth, it creates a perfect alignment, a celestial dance that we are privileged to witness. But remember, safety first. It's essential to protect your eyes when viewing a solar eclipse. Never look directly at the sun without appropriate protective eyewear. Specialized solar viewing glasses or indirect viewing techniques are recommended to safely enjoy this spectacle. Now, let's talk about eclipse chasing. Some people are so captivated by the wonder of solar eclipses 
they travel the world to experience them. These eclipse chasers, or umbrophiles, as they are sometimes called, plan their adventures years in advance, following the path of totality where the sun is completely obscured. For them, the thrill of standing in the moon's shadow is an experience worth crossing continents and oceans. Indeed, solar eclipses are not just astronomical events, they are experiences, shared moments of wonder, that tie us to our ancestors who stood under the same sky, gazing up in awe, and to future generations who will do the same. From ancient myths to modern science, solar eclipses have captivated us throughout history and will continue to do so for generations to come.